chlorination of some and overhead tanks in a flat. This is our flat sum with a storage capacity of 10,000 liters. Now transfer 400 grams, that is 200 grams into two numbers of packets of bleaching powder in a 5 liter volume bucket. Make a paste with water using a plastic or wooden flat stick and pour the mixture into the sump water. Plunge the bucket tied with the nylon rope in the sump water. After it reaches 10 feet depth, pull it upwards. Repeat the operation for 20 times for even and uniform distribution of bleaching powder in the entire sump water. Close the sump and allow the added bleaching powder to react with sump water for at least 4 hours. After 4 hours, pump the sump water to fill the overhead tanks for 20 minutes. The chlorine added in the sump while pumping the overhead tanks would provide the following benefits. Cleans the sump, cleans the pipelines carrying the water to overhead tanks, cleans the overhead tanks, cleans the pipelines delivering it to the individual houses in the flat and finally cleans the drainage canals of the flat. As the added chlorine smell would be maintained up to a minimum of 3 to 4 days. This will ensure thorough cleaning from disinfecting the above mentioned series of utilities in a flat. Thus, the application of 400 grams of bleaching powder in our sum at a frequency of once in a month would ensure thorough cleaning of series of utilities which stores as well as carries water. Bleaching powder is nothing but a compound of lime and chlorine. In fresh bleaching powder, normally chlorine content is 33% or more. Bleaching powder is unstable in nature and as the time pauses, the chlorine content reduces. To avoid loss of chlorine, it is essential to store bleaching powder in dry condition and away from direct sunlight. If the bleaching powder is stored in a polythene bag after use, the bag should be properly closed. Things to note down. Contact period of minimum of an hour is required for the chlorine to act on the pathogens and kill them. Hence, it is essential to do the chlorination minimum one hour before the supply hours. The quantity of bleaching powder required for disinfection depends on the quantity of water in the storage reservoir. Use of bleaching powder in the excess of the required quantity. There is a possibility of the source getting polluted at the start of monsoon and during heavy rains. This may result into epidemics. Hence, it is very important to take utmost care in disinfection during such periods. In such situations, use of bleaching powder in excess of required quantity is recommended. The extra dose of bleaching powder should be adjusted in such a way that the residual chlorine is more than 1 ppm.
Thank you very much for watching this video.